Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be updating your Mac. So let's get started. Go on the top, way, way, way top, left hand side, you will see that Apple logo. Second option, system settings. From system settings, you will see this popping up. So right now, under search, just type in update. Then from there, software update is gonna be your first option. From here, you're gonna see this. However, let's say you can't find it for some reason that way, or you don't have access to that. Well, you can always go into general. Under general, second option, software update. From here, you should see the update as well. Some of you might even see the update here, software update available. Whichever way you get here, this is how to do it. And then, and only then, I would make a backup of your Mac, but you don't have to. Um, that's just in case something goes wrong, but this is such a small update, you really don't need to. It's about 10 gigs, so that, you know, the timing does depend on how fast your internet speed is to download the update. And right down here below, you guys will see automatic updates is turned on. You guys can always turn this off and on, depends. So in my case, I'm gonna turn them both off and that's because I don't want this to update by itself. And usually that's what I recommend for everybody. Nobody let your Mac update by itself because if something goes wrong, you just turn on your Mac and all of a sudden it's not working, you won't know why. But if you do the update yourself, you're gonna know, oh, it's because the update. So something must have, I must have run out of uh, maybe space to actually um, install the update or anything like that. Now, you know that this is 10 gigs. So that means you should have at least 20 gigs of free space. But even then, I always say with Max, always, always have minimum 50 gigs of free space whenever you want to do any updates. Now this is small, but even then I would recommend that. Anyways, we're just gonna tap on restart. We're just gonna see how the Mac just restarts by itself. We're gonna see Apple logo, loading bar, and then we're gonna be done with the update. It's very, very easy. Once you click on restart, it's just gonna ask you for your password. Just tap in okay. And then it's gonna install it. At this point in time, just leave your Mac to be. Do not turn it off. If you have a MacBook, make sure it, it's charging. Although you might have 100% of your battery, make sure it's charging. So afterwards, it's just gonna restart. You're gonna see an Apple logo and then that's it. Now, it's gonna happen that usually it doesn't happen with small updates. It's gonna ask you for your Apple ID password. So make sure to have that handy with you so you're ready to log back in. That's all it's gonna ask you though, your Apple ID password, not the actual email that you guys have. It should, actually it's gonna tell you there what email it is, but it's gonna ask you for your password itself. You're gonna log back in. You guys should see this again. We can check for updates to see everything that went okay. And that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.